Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar hosted by ClickTest on Agile Automation Testing Means Agile Challenges. I'm Lena Isaac, Vice President Service Delivery at ClickTest, your moderator and organizer. Before we start, let's take a moment to ensure that everyone is ready and familiar with the webinar control panel. First, you should have a control panel on the right side of your screen. You may minimize this panel by clicking on the red arrow button in the upper left corner. You may expand the panel by clicking the same button. Please take a moment to practice. Second, you have the ability to submit questions using the chat panel located near the bottom of the control panel during question and answer session at the end of the presentation. Let's get started. Today's panelist is Rupesh Akula, Head of Service Delivery at ClickTest, with 10 years of rich experience in testing domain across various industry verticals, a seasoned scrum master and sprint planner. Take it away, Rupesh. Thanks, Lena. Hello, everyone. This is Rupesh here, and uh, let, uh, let's quickly start with uh, uh, webinar today on uh, Agile Automation Testing means Agile Challenges. So before getting into looking at uh, the various challenges which, uh, which we face in uh, implementing Agile Automation Testing and how to overcome, let us uh, first try to understand what exactly we mean by Agile Automation Testing. So as we understand uh, about the basic Agile methodology, so when we start implementing these agile development principles in our automation testing, then uh, uh, that is where we start using our agile automation testing. So the, the process is where the whole uh, team or the bunch of testers in your testing department are further uh, uh, divided into sub uh, teams and then each of these teams will still work on a specific technology and uh, they start building their scripts. So ideally as we understand the sprint in uh, our agile methodology is uh, between two to four weeks. So ideally we would want to complete our sprint automation testing uh, in a week's time and uh, we prefer sprint to sprint automation in the sense uh, planned automation scripts for that particular sprint uh, we have to accomplish in the same sprint. We should, there should not be any backlog in the next sprint. So moving on, uh, so now we'll look at what are the various challenges which we encounter while implementing agile automation. So traditionally, we have been working on um, uh, SDLC models, like uh, sequential models, more like waterfall model. And in this, we had a specific testing phase, which means that we had proper testing time to, uh, to do our uh, required testing on your application. But over the period, in the last few years, we have migrated from the sequential to more uh, iterative and incremental uh, development models. And we call it as Agile now, uh, which, uh, uh, Again, uh, so when we uh, move to this Agile, it becomes uh, uh, difficult for us to take time for proper testing because it works in very short sprints and end of the sprint you uh, have a working model out and uh, the focus was more towards uh, getting your uh, system developed and there was very less time uh, given to testing. And uh, the leading experts and uh, members in the industry uh, and analysts say that or agile automation testing could be the answer where you can still give a proper time which is required for uh, testing in uh, agile uh, development environment. But uh, this whole agile automation testing comes with its own, cha uh, own challenge, set of challenges. First being, because as we understand, the, the concept of agile itself says frequent change of requirement. And traditionally, the automation has been a concept where we pick up only those uh, features where, where uh, the changes don't happen on a regular basis. So that is the primary challenge which comes up, uh, comes up uh, to our mind when we try to implement this uh, um, uh, agile automation testing in our uh, agile world. And then uh, the selection of the right tool because uh, every tool has its own uh, 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 principle of working with various applications and as we see uh, every day there's a new technology which is uh, uh, coming into the market and we're not sure of which tool uh, which will, uh, will suit our automation testing perspective. So it, uh, selecting the right tool is again a, a major challenge for us and uh, every tool which we select is dependent on the technical knowledge in the sense uh, you cannot use uh, existing testers or manual testers which you already have in your team. 
in the sense you need to hire along with the tool which you select obviously you have to pay a lot of license uh, for this uh, for these tools which you select and you also need to identify the resource who's carrying this knowledge and if you don't find a proper resource then the uh, concept of training into com uh, comes into picture wherein you have to invest a lot of time in your uh, existing uh, uh, resources to get trained in these tools and then as we understand again oh, uh, sprint by sprint your features get uh, keep getting added to your uh, 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 application and uh, whenever there are changes made to this application again there, there's a lot of scope for uh, uh, regressions which come and uh, these regressions have to be uh, taken care of in the sense again this growing need of regression testing for each sprint it, it increases and uh, uh, keeping a tap on this and uh, getting your scripts ready sprint by sprint again becomes a challenge for you and agile says like communication frequent communication between teams and uh, it's again very difficult for uh, for you to uh, for us to actually get all these different team members into the loop and uh, give the proper information to all the team members who are working in this agile uh, methodology <clears throat> and uh, again coming to the agile concept it, talk, it uh, talks about scrum and uh, uh, it says have a stand up meeting uh, every day uh, when you start your work and every day once you are done with the day but uh, 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 the, we still have a concern of how far we are utilizing this and the effectiveness of these scrum meetings which which we have which are happening where we invest some time and uh, try to get the information on so these are a few uh, challenges which we uh, try to focus on <coughs> and then uh, the only uh, another point which I want to uh, uh, which I like to add here is all the existing tools which are there they have been designed in, in a way it works with your uh, traditional models and it's very difficult for you to um, make sure that they also work in your agile environment and um, and <coughs> and agile says you have to work along with the developers hand in hand but these existing tools are, are designed in such a way that it needs a, a, a proper uh, uh, functioning uh, application only uh, which is available only after, after a proper development cycle is uh, done so these are a few challenges which come along with uh, our uh, uh, agile automation testing and then so here we see that uh, we, we, we let us discuss about few aspects which will actually allow us to overcome these challenges so <clears throat> the planning should be proper because as we are talking about sprints which usually happen uh, for two to four weeks planning is a, plays a very key role wherein uh, before getting the sprint it has to be properly defined what are the activities of the development team uh, what are the activities of the testing team and what part of your application will be automated and all these uh, uh, planning has to be done and uh, then uh, we have to make sure that the, as per the plan all the required automation scripts are ready in that particular sprint so there should be no lag uh, you know, uh, going into the new sprint in the, in the sense you should not carry any backlogs into the new sprint and uh, uh, we also need to identify a tool because whenever we talk about automation testing it might become a bit difficult for, for us to move from our manual testing uh, approach to automation testing because we have to identify a tool and again people who can work on those tools and then it becomes important for us to identify a tool wherein we can still make use of your uh, existing testers uh, 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 which can uh, or a tool uh, wherein you can actually make use of your manual testers or people who are already there uh, not so technical people and again, again uh, uh, or identify a tool where the training or the the time taken to the, uh, implement the tool is very less so this is another point which we can actually think of and then uh, effective communication yes uh, this is another uh, area where we can look at uh, by properly communicating on a uh, daily basis in our uh, scrum meetings of, of what we have achieved in the last day and what what else is pending so that it's clear for everybody in uh, working in the team and uh, uh, we can take it from there and uh, uh, the all important phase of validating our automation scripts so once we uh, generate the scripts uh, we, we have to make sure that they uh, are working as per your uh, uh, requirement uh, just uh, blindly we cannot say that okay there's a script ready and we can start using it so uh, validating our automation scripts is also a major part which we have to take care of uh, uh, while working on these agile uh, uh, automation testing and uh, 
so that is how that these are few aspects where we can uh, look at and uh, based on which we can implement our uh, agile automation testing and now we look at the various benefits uh, of uh, having uh, uh, agile testing in place the first thing is no, uh, typically testing is considered to be a, a responsibility of the uh, department uh, of the QA department but again when we talk about agile testing it's more like a whole team effort wherein even your developers will uh, be part of your uh, system because in the traditional waterfall uh, development model testing was done only after the uh, development activities complete but in agile the whole team they sit together and work together in order to achieve this so it's not only the testing team who is responsible for the quality but even the other stakeholders uh, who are uh, actually part of the uh, sprint and uh, <coughs> it also agile uh, a team uh, also mixes a discipline where uh, you might find one tester working with two developers so developers often write their use cases as they add more features and then use these tests to test the app continuously as as they keep adding features the tester will uh, simultaneously write the test cases and build, uh, build a new code as it's being completed, catching bugs then and there, and uh, give an immediate feedback to the developer. Therein, we are trying to uh, 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 complete our uh, uh, planned activities in the same uh, sprint rather than looking at another sprint. And obviously, better communication uh, is what we get in our uh, agile uh, model, wherein uh, we have. <coughs> uh, as we have developers working with the team, uh, on the, uh, they can move easily and communicate with each other. And if a bug is uh, reported, uh, and uh, obviously there, there'll be more uh, details which are required, and then the development team can uh, match the system on the shoulder and then uh, be, uh, uh, tell her exactly what uh, more details are required and get the item fixed then and there. And uh, additionally, daily scrum sessions help catch issues in advance and uh, also help uh, help us keep uh, uh, our spotlight on the issues which have to be fixed and early def uh, detection of uh, bugs are also there as part of our agile model because the tester is working with the developer on the same team and uh, they are able to give almost immediate feedback uh, of every build which comes into the sprint or whenever sprint by sprint development is happening and fix the bug then and there and this way regressions I mean uh, you can come on with the actual regressions uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, uh, even the sprint by sprint development will also allow us to incorporate new changes because waterfall model uh, functions best when the uh, uh, business requirements are well planned and outlined at the start of the project anyone who had worked on even the simplest applications know that business requirements are far, are far from immutable agile methodologies are designed to get work done while incorporating changes because there's always the scope of uh, changes which are there in Agile and that way it's very flexible and Agile locks the teams in a short sprints letting each team focus on completing a small task uh, and uh, the context of the next sprint however entirely up, uh, up for debate this includes adding new unplanned features and modifying all the existing ones if that is what is best and uh, obviously uh, testing cannot be cut in an Agile uh, world because uh, the testers are included right from the uh, inception of the sprint uh, wherein uh, sometimes at a requirement gathering phase or sometimes at a planning level uh, where uh, proper testing can be done even for the requirement level. <coughs> Often in waterfall models, um, uh, this uh, testing is cut in order to meet the deadlines. The result is bad uh, software being sent to the user sometimes and uh, shunning bad software also. And uh, we do have a few uh, pitfalls uh, here, so let us also discuss in them, wherein uh, Sometimes this whole sprint can also become a mini waterfall, wherein uh, 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 even in a sprint, uh, of course, we have implemented uh, Agile uh, overcoming the waterfall sequential models, but again, uh, sometimes even the sprint becomes uh, a waterfall uh, without any clear planning or clear requirements, and then uh, the same process goes where only after a, a, a piece of code is developed and proper UI is there, you can start uh, uh, working on your testing activities and uh, there could be another case where uh, the developers are uh, tied up with their own timelines and they don't find uh, time to uh, uh, automate their unit tests again this will spill the bugs into the testing phase and it becomes very difficult for us to complete our testing activities and um, 
the other issue could be wherein as as we understand our requirement and then opt for a particular uh, automation tool from the market after paying lot licenses and hiring all the people but there's no guarantee that this tool uh, will work as per our, uh, our requirement because again uh, a lot of tools again need customizations as per your requirement because it's a it's a framework kind of thing which is there and then there's a lot of customization effort which goes into it uh, which we also need to take care of so <coughs> this was about the benefits and pitfalls of uh, the agile automation uh, testing and then uh, let us talk about the points which we have to uh, keep in mind when we uh, are actually trying to or we can call it a simple vendor selection criteria uh, which uh, we need to consider yeah so the first point which we uh, have to keep in our mind is whenever we look at a tool it should suit our requirement in the sense a, a, a solution which can be readily be used without any further customizations because uh, a lot of times we come across uh, tools wherein after uh, getting into tool we feel that it's not up to the mark or uh, there are few other uh, objects which it doesn't capture of your application because we might use multiple technologies to build our application and uh, uh, there's no guarantee that this uh, uh, tool which you have opted will uh, do all these things so uh, we have to bear this my, uh, in our mind that it suits our requirement completely and uh, there should not be any way of any customization and uh, uh, along with the tool uh, uh, we also need to have the right uh, people who are actually capable of working with these tools uh, because uh, this again uh, becomes an important part because the existing uh, uh, testing resources in your team might not be capable of working with the new tool so it's important that we along with identifying the tool we also look at resources either to get our existing testers trained or uh, select a tool uh, which can be easily uh, used by your existing testers and uh, come across few license tools and uh, a few open source tools so license tools obviously have their own uh, support system which will allow you to get into these uh, or just in case if you need any customization they also do it but when we talk about this open source uh, technology which are, which are there as is uh, they give you just a variation uh, as a framework which has to be uh, uh, customized again as per your requirement so we also need to consider the time which is required so it's important that we uh, keep this point in mind uh, whether we want to go for a license tool or just in case if you have time uh, uh, for getting into automation can actually offer an open source tool find the uh, uh, appropriate or the right person who is going to customize as per your requirement because these frameworks uh, need uh, high end uh, uh, technology experts who can actually uh, uh, change the whole uh, framework as per your requirement and then uh, obviously the training time which is required to understand the technology on which the tool is built on and uh, another point which we have to focus is the uh, time we are taking uh, in order to build this automation because typically what how we start is we don't jump directly into automation testing so it's more at the end where you try to understand what part of your application can be automated and what part has to be manually and uh, again there could be another scenario where we start with a manual testing and then move or migrate to your automation testing so it's important that you also look at the time uh, or the, uh, the time taken to migrate your uh, manual test cases to automation Only if it fits your uh, 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 time frame, whatever you have agreed upon, only then it's 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 good to go for such kind of tools, or else try for another tool which will uh, help you to work on these aspects. And uh, finally, because as we are talking about tools <coughs> uh, or license tools, uh, when you talk about license tools, obviously you have to pay a lot of licenses, and this again uh, supporting uh, cost which goes into it, like the uh, infrastructure which is required to host these tools, and again you also need to have your uh, uh, people who can actually monitor this, uh, look at the uptime and all these things. So there's a lot of money which you have to invest when you talk about these license tools. And uh, again, when you talk about open source tools, maybe the investment, uh, investment is not much, but, but the investment will be at a level where you have to identify the resources who can actually customize these things um, as per your requirement. And uh, it's important that we also understand the ROI uh, uh, when you offer these tools in the sense uh, the amount of money you are investing on the tool and then uh, what is the utilization of the tool because uh, uh, in spite of the talking about agile and uh, kind of things there might be few uh, scenarios where you are 
testing might not go for uh, the year long. There could be instances where you want to do testing only for a specific time period. For instance, the performance testing is usually uh, done only after your functional testing is complete. So, <clears throat> identifying a tool uh, which can be used on demand and whenever required. So even that becomes important, and you can also keep this in mind while uh, going for a tool selection. And uh, because all the existing, as uh, most of the tools, uh, what uh, we feel uh, is like they have to be paid for a year, and then uh, we don't know how how far we we are going to utilize it. So it's important that we try to identify tools uh, where on on need basis you can subscribe and use them, which will again give you a lot of uh, uh, high level ROI, which you can uh, go for and then use these into other aspects. Of so these are a few points in, the, uh, in your vendor selection process. Uh, you can post, uh, start posting uh, any questions if you have. Thank you, Rupesh. Uh, now we open the uh, session for any questions. You can use the questions panel to type your question. I'm just going to give another minute to pose any questions. Right. Seems like that was a crystal clear presentation, and uh, we're not seeing any questions coming from our uh, attendees or participants. So thank you, Rupesh, for the wonderful insights into the world of agile automation testing. Um, we would like uh, to ask each of you to kindly remain uh, a few more moments longer and complete a short poll. In a moment, a multiple choice question would appear online. You'll have 20 seconds to select the answer. Thank you for, you, uh, for attending the webinar. And uh, for any additional queries, please feel free to contact our panelists uh, at rupesh at clickfest.com. Uh, you may kindly exit the webinar by clicking on File Exit. Thank you.